Welcome back to the two-time award-winning Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City on Vegas, allnetradio.com, the final frontier of free motherfucking speech. God, you got to love Julia Stans in the studio. Well, we, yeah. know t- we know that Glitz is over here like having vapors and isms. You know. I think I may have to masturbate tonight. Oh, I did that. I, did that <laughs> I thought you were right now. Today. I'm surprised you're waiting yeah, until I, tonight. I'm not in the girls' room down there. Like, girls, I, I need to take a long break. I'll be right back. <laughs> you know. But Maybe I should have walked her to her car. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's then you wouldn't have come back. <laughs> I mean, I think I saw you slip her your number. Am I right? <laughs> she is. Um, she's so much fun and just so, you know, she's really proud of what she does. And that's way okay. You know, she's comfortable with her and comfortable with what she does. And you got to love her. And she's beautiful. And she's great energy. She is, has really good energy. And, you know, every time I've seen her and I've seen her, like, you know, in a lot of different situations. It's always that same energy. She, like, looks at the best and everything. And her mother is just a riot. You see where she gets a lot of it from, so. Well, I didn't have a chance to tell her when she was here, but um, another thing that I, I adored of her that night when I saw her is after she got uh, off the pool, <laughs> she was working the room. And she was very friendly and very approachable and just smiling and mm-hmm. just – so she has really great energy. And, I, and honestly, that probably attracts me a lot more to her than – well, I won't lie. She's hot. Anyway. <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> it's the boobs. I was just boobs. I was just gonna ask Liz. Would you know what to do with all them? Boobs? Everyone ever asked me to do a boob jiggle? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Glitz? Go ahead, do do a boob jiggle. I have jiggle that for same us. problem. Oh, there you go. We're starting. We're starting. <laughs> okay, I didn't mean to. We're starting. <laughs> oh my God. Um, could you handle all them boobs? I'll find some to do. <laughs> Maybe I'm fascinated because I don't have them. Maybe yeah, that's tr- oh yeah. Kind of like men, they don't have them, and maybe that's gay why men love boobs. Can you scoot closer to this way? Yeah, yeah pretend yeah. like you, you know. I was at the I was at the club one night. My boob jiggle. Gay guy did come up to me, and he's like, "Can I bury my face in your boobs?" He's like, "I really like boobs." They do. They and, do. And he came up to you. Yeah, oh, yeah, I know. Out of all the people yeah. at like with all these big girls. And I'm in a training bra. Yeah, <laughs> of all the people to choose. That's funny. Please and thank you. I, I'm really having difficulties with this microphone tonight. I hate that it. microphone with that cage uh, on it. Uh, uh, uh. And all I can think now is, Oops. you broke Jesus something. Christ. <laughs> Stop, oh. that, Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> you know, with the Glitz is now being punished. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> Glitter. Glitter. No, no, no. You get. Uh, you got to be put in the penalty box. <laughs> this is Sierra. I do believe there is spanking involved. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna Sarah break the microphone a couple more times. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> I like that. That's, that's the bad. That's the bad girl look right there. <laughs> We've always called her the mean one. I am the mean one. Uh-huh. Someone's got to be the mean one. Uh-huh. Who's the mean? One? No, oh, you're no. the sexy one. <laughs> no, I don't know about no, that. No, I don't know if I'd call her the sexy one. I'd call her the sexed up one. No, she's not the sexed up one. You're the sexed up one. You're the hoe. What? No. How often do you get it every week? She has to think. That answers couple, it right there. At least a couple of times. <clears throat> exactly. <clears throat> See? At least a couple of times. Well, I'm back on sabbatical again. Why? Well, I had my little, you know. Well, I'll, I'll tell. I'll. Hmm. I did something a little interesting this week, but I'll, I'll do. I'll tell him on my catch up. Okay. But yeah. actual fucking penetration, like a real person. Yeah. Yeah, I got fucked good this week. It's been like a I month. did as well. I'm yeah. just saying. Big old black cock is good. <sighs> I did not. I was on uh, on my period and dealing with some vaginal issues. Just put a towel down. <laughs> No, no, the yeah. pork, the the pork star trick is to put little sponges up there. Oh. Are you serious? What if oh, you lose yeah. one? No, no. Well, let me tell you a story. That's my thing. Let me tell you a little story. This just happened not too long ago. So yeah, you can take one of those the sponges like you buy at the grocery store and cut it into little squares and wet it and I, I stick think it the all the way up there. Sh- no, you're no, no. Get tricked. You're gonna get tricked. Down. You're gonna get tricked. Okay. <laughs> It's not up there for fucking ever. As soon as you're done having sex, you take the bitches out. But here's what I decided, girls. I was up there, and I had obviously um, cut the sponges a little smaller than I should have, okay? Someone have to go. No, I you. had to go. But here's what I'm going. Like, it got st- – I, I realized that my JJ has chubby rolls just like my body has chubby rolls, okay? See, I have all these chubby rolls because that sponge got stuck up inside the chubby roll. 
<laughs> so I'm telling you, there are rolls in my vajayjay just like there's rolls on my back. I have this you vision of like vagina? SpongeBob and jellyfishing now. <laughs> but I did get it out. I had to kind of squat like I was giving birth and well, get in there, but I got it out. If you've already got a condom stuck up there too. Like Why? that's like you have to like But I'm telling you, if you do that trick, your partner will not know that you're on your period. Really? Because when they're fucking you, it feels like a part of the vajayjay. I don't have that problem anymore anyway, so you don't have a period at all? I had a hysterectomy at a very young I age. I got to so. tell you, I am 50, almost 52 <clears throat> years old, and my fucking period is like clockwork. Every month, I'm right on schedule. It is not like, I, I mean, maybe I could still have a baby, but I think my eggs are hard-boiled. <sighs> I think everything Maybe that should be like my my selling point, too, in a dating site. I can't get knocked up. Word. No, that will be a that will be a deal breaker for some guys. Some guys. True, it will I've be. had yeah. Well, yeah. And do you want to advertise? Okay, I'm willing to have sex without a condom because that's no, what that's no, saying. no, no. I'm just you know, um, but I haven't had to deal with a period in like 11 years now. Oh my God, please. Yeah. I don't need it anymore, and it still wants to come Trust every me, month. I had enough of time. it when I was mine is mine is artificially induced. So. Yeah. Why am I the yeah. oldest fucking one in the room and I have the most regular period? That's fucking... Mine's pretty regular. Okay, that's, we have the biggest asses and we're regular. That's, that's we, it. Okay, there we go. Your yeah, ass is big good. enough. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, condoms getting stuck up there, I, I call that jellyfishing. <laughs> get it? Because when you have to go up there and you have to get them. No, he should have to go up there and get well, them. I agree. And then like, you're going jellyfishing. <laughs> okay, anyway. Why I, I want to know why he ain't holding that bitch when he pulls it out. So that you don't, you know, like get spermicide, spermies up there. Because if they don't hold it, it, forget the condom. It did you no good if it got stuck up there. True, true, true. Well, you ain't worried about getting yeah. pregnant. No. No. And, and you know, my previous relationship, you know, I was in for a while, so we didn't use protection. Now, obviously, going back into the dating You're situation, gonna it's, it's mm-hmm. going to be interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Condoms are kind of fucked. Yeah, I still got to use them. I know you do. Yeah, but no, the, the, the trick is you got to use the right size condom. And the right kind, because some of the latex is, like, thicker and... It's, it's irritating. Yeah, yeah. I'd say certain latex condoms, I can't... But like I said, I like I don't know if I break out or get a rash or, you know, I've got to... That's why... What's your She's chicken? worried about oh, wait, bed, bed bugs, bugs and, and trick. trick. Bed bugs and trick. I'm going to inspect your bedroom, I to, and I need to get an STD test from you before we can. <laughs> oh I have to God. tell you guys about bed bugs okay, really go, quick. Go I, sent, I sent you all a text. I so I had text me or everyone. Every, uh, no, I text everyone. And I had um, I, I went on a field trip with, with you know, a bunch of kids and parents, <laughs> and we get in the room, and I'm in there with another mom, and I go, don't put your bags on the bed. <laughs> and she looked at me like I was crazy, and I'm like, your bags go in the bathroom. And so I said, we're now doing a bed bug inspection. And again, (laughs) she's looking at me like I'm crazy, but I'm lifting it. I have all the kids down there looking. I'm like, look for little, you know, black flecks, like all around. So we're looking underneath on the, you know, the bed area. I'm so proud of you right um, now. (laughs) You, I mean, you should be. It was pretty awesome. Like all the lights are on. Then we had to do the pullout couch because we had a lot of kids in there and like we're inspecting the pullout couch. When you sent us that that text message that, um, (sighs) that you're doing that, I forwarded it to the bug guy. Did you? I I said, you know, from uh, Toxie and he's like, yeah, someone learned. (laughs) (laughs) My daughter went to set a bag on the bed and I'm like like my head spun and my eyes turned green and I'm like get it off there that was you that was me no right I can't fuck that up that was you channeling your inner glitz yeah, there you go. There you go. but wait we got this I'm worried about now how do you how do you test for trick on a hotel bed you don't trick 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 oh my god and bed tricks and bed bugs what if you had bed bugs with trick Oh, oh. The zombie apocalypse, like I said a couple <laughs> weeks ago. That is what is knowing to bring it on. Oh, my God. You guys, the one. Oscars are on tonight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck them. Fuck them. I, I have not been impressed by any of the movies that I have seen lately. Oh, I seen a movie yesterday. I mean, actually, have you seen um, With, with the Wolf, of, the movie Wolf of Wall Street? No. That is the best. Phenomenal movie. movie. I Go see it. it. Go see it. It's phenomenal. Yeah. And then I seen Monument Man a couple weeks ago. Kind of sleepy. Good movie because of the history, but watch it on HBO. Um, but yesterday I seen nonstop about mm-hmm. the air marshal 
mm-hmm. with oh, Liam yeah. Neeson, and it was very good. Very good. I liked I heard, it. I heard the movie with Matthew McConaughey, um, something oh, cowboy. Oh, Dallas, do, Dallas, Dallas Buyers Club. I, Dallas, heard, I, heard, I heard that, that, that was phenomenal. Well, in, my, in fact, my friend was just telling me about it. She watched a TV show. He lost so much weight. Like, he lost, like, 80 pounds that while they were filming, he, like, was so weak he had to sit. He had to have IV fluids so he could work because he, cause he had to look like an AIDS patient. Yeah. And he had gotten down so, so much weight. And I wondered, because I've been watching him in True Detective, and he's mm. very thin. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking he taped Dallas Buyers Club before he did True Detective. Yeah. Because he's very thin and true detective, but um, she says he should get the Academy Award, that it was phenomenal. I heard it's great. I'm going to um, catch up on my movies, hopefully this weekend coming up, because, you know, I haven't seen Anchorman 2 yet, and, you know, I'm all about Day Class. <laughs> I'm a big Will Ferrell fan. What can I say? What can you say? I watched uh, went to took the boy to the Lego movie. Today. Oh um, yeah! Did he love it? They love. Yeah, it. my grandson went Valentine's Day. My daughter took him, and he was that's all he's been talking about. Well, your grand your son and my grandson they Lego for hours. Oh yeah, hours. You, you just put them in a small room, no windows, no doors. Toss a banana in once in a while. Yeah, make an, and give them the big box of all the Legos, and mm-hmm. they are just done. Oh, but after the movie, though, my son came home and he took apart everything. He had to build a double-decker couch. In case you don't know, that's like a big deal in the Lego movie, the double-decker couch. So he built a double-decker couch, and then I got down on the floor, and we built something together, and he made all these crazy things. Weren't you the one telling me there's like one or how many Legos for every person in the world? Uh, I did give you that. God, stat, what was that stat? It. It's like... It's like phenomenal I'll, the I'll number of you. oh my god and Alexia posted a picture this week of a wave made out of Legos did you yeah, guys that see was that pretty amazing oh my god yeah. my grandpa said that's a lie there's no way that's Legos by the <laughs> way I was quite impressed with uh, your boy Scribble I it's know Dragon was really good well he got his um, I'm a big fan of getting magazines in the mail and so is my son and so he gets Jack and Jill in the mail uh-huh. and. One of the first activities in there is draw this dragon, and here are the steps on how to draw it. Oh, they have the little boxes with the steps? Right. Yeah. So he pulls out a piece of paper, and uh, he just starts drawing it. And I come in, and he is, I mean, he is concentrating on this thing. He, you look, you come in, and you look, he's in the kitchen. He's just, he's got his tongue, tongue stuck out. out on one side. He's like. And he's got that little, he, also, he's got that he's little, got that right little crease right, right between his eyes. <laughs> he's he is concentrating. And I said, you're really drawing that dragon. He goes, I'm done with the first one, Mom. I'm working on another one. And I said, well, let me see it. And he showed it to me. I said, holy crap, I've got to take a picture of this. <laughs> this is amazing. It was a good he, 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 It was really, I, I was stunned. He's prepping me for Game of Thrones. Yeah. I, I was stunned. Wait. I looked at it and I was like, damn, boy, you might have some talent at this. Yeah, that was really good. So, yeah. You good. know, we have a couple guests in chat. Let's and just out. throwing it out there, if you want to log in, sign up for an account, you can chat with us, ask some questions, join in the um Join in the chatter. Go so. to dot com. So did you guys read uh, the article I forwarded to you or not about uh, what kind of drunk are you? Yeah, let's talk <clears> about <throat> that. Yeah, I was <laughs> um, through it. Because I would, yeah, let, 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 let's evaluate what kind of drunks we are. I think okay. Toxie is number one. I think Toxie's all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's one through ten. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really decide which one I am. Um, and... Uh, I don't know. Um, and you guys really haven't really seen me drunk, so. No. I've seen you intoxicated. A little tipsy. Well. A couple weeks ago. Up well, guess what? Next Saturday night, winter weekend, on the radio, <laughs> it's on, girl. All right. We're going to all I be have... looking cute in our new little outfits uh, we're okay. going to make. That that sounds like a plan because I, I have a hotel room. I won't be driving. That's right. So. All of I have a room. Have if it. anybody wants to borrow it, me and Earl from Curve Media share a room. Y'all are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> be warned, there will be stuff going on. In yeah, me room. and Earl always share a room. We're like party buddies. <laughs> all right. So you ready for these? Ready. Okay. The Lost Cause Drunk. Everyone has a friend who loses things, her keys, her ID, her phone, and you spend the rest of the night tracking down her shit is pretty much. Do we I have do that. somebody? You lose I your stuff. That. Well, that's why you have Mr. That's Dossie. why I have a keeper. But there are many times that, like, people will run out after me, and they're like, you forgot your blah, blah, blah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Trust me on this. I, I think she's one through ten. A little bit of a- <laughs> All right. Well, let's mark her okay, one on the tally sheet already. Let's see, wait, hold on. Okay. I'll put all of us here. And uh, when you're one of them, we will see how many okay. checks okay, we good each idea. have. Okay, good idea. So, Toxie, you're already on there. No. Anyone else get a check for that one? No, I, I no. don't. I'm yeah, good. I don't leave my stuff. The destroyer drunk. 
Whether she's dropping glasses, bottles, or her phone, she brings a symphony of shattering sounds wherever she goes. That you is know why? you. Because twice at you Red to. Label, me and Mr. Toxie have flipped over glass tables because I was trying to lap dance mm-hmm. them. And I did. There used to be a glass table going from the restroom into the main dance area, and it is no longer there. Then you gotta put one <laughs> so I have a check for that as okay. well. All right. I'm a prophet. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you have a check? Anyone no, else? No, no, no. no this, We're the only one. True. No. Holy. Now, in people. the beginning, this may sound like me, but uh, towards the end, it's not going if to. If we all agree it's you, it's you. Okay. <laughs> Number three is the dancing queen drunk. Oh, please don't even go further. No, but listen, but she usually, you can usually find her in the middle of the dance floor grinding on anything with a pulse. <laughs> Toxie! <laughs> she is, wait, 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 it gets better. <laughs> she is tone deaf. But, yeah, has no rhythm, <laughs> but that won't stop her from performing the one woman show on the bar whose encore closes face first on the floor. Toxie, I guess you're I'll right. Put a you're check. right. That's not you. By the way, you that, are a good dancer and you have rhythm. By the way, the number is that there are 62 Lego bricks per person for the entire Earth's population. That's why wow. there are more than 400 billion Lego bricks have been produced since 19. Now I have to get 62 Lego pieces. Well, and I'll something. tell you, these boys will fight over one titty, but I need that light for my house, and it's like microscopic, and they'll fight over one little. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Anyway, back to drunk. Okay, number four. There's ten, so we're on four. The makeout drunk. Toxic. She came, she kissed, she conquered, she got it, and she got a shitload of free drinks. Toxie, Toxie! I, I don't know. I've seen you just about start smooching on anything that'll move when you get drunk, too. I don't too. smooch that much. Check or no check for yeah, I've been known sweet to, cheese. I've been known to drink and smooch. I don't think you guys have ever seen me make out with anyone in public. No, I don't I'll think do so. it all the time. Keeping your options open? Hmm, yeah. I'll do it all the time. I'll move from room I'm to room, stealth. kiss one in this room, move to the next room and kiss that one. Say, let me walk this one outside, go suck face with that one outside and come back in with the one I was in. And yeah. you? Me? Yeah. Oh, you haven't seen me drunk. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. I have nothing for you. I have nothing. Can we no, get, I don't can, drink that much. Can we get Sierra drunk, too? Yes, we can. <laughs> the two of us drunk, though, I might want to. Like, Somebody has really to drive. Like one Listen, then I'm really driving myself on those Cali the, here. Oh, okay. I was going to say for the winter coming weekend. Back. Is we he coming for winter weekend? Uh, probably not. Oh, then I'm Oh, well, you know what? I have a hotel, so if you get drunk, you just come stay in my room. Oh, Lord. You can watch me. Oh, never mind. And she can get her. I can finally. Yeah, like, there's a pull-out couch. Oh, you can bejazzle her. Oh, we got plans for you. Oh, shit. Okay. You better come back. <laughs> Number five for the weekend is the Houdini drunk. Oh. She will disappear and resurface more times than Lindsay Lohan of the Internet Rehab. That <laughs> is sweet cheeks. I don't get, as soon as she's got about halfway through her Aquafina bottle, I'm like, where the hell is sweet cheeks? And then she's across the room. And then she disappears, and then she's in the bathroom, and then she disappears, and she's at the bar. And then I'm in the parking yeah, lot. I always have to make it. I'm grabbing a check. I do that, too. <laughs> number, number six like may not. Uh, I didn't know well, hold on. Houdini. Anyone else? Uh, do you do the Houdini? No, no. I'm the Houdini. Yeah. Um, number six may not necessarily be you, but since you have a keeper, it may. So maybe a half a check mark for this one for you. Okay. Um, number six is the other half drunk. You have known her for years, yet you haven't seen her in months since she has become a we. Her boyfriend finally accepted a night out. Except, sorry, I screwed that up. Her boyfriend finally escaped for a night out, so she dusted off her heels and came out to meet you guys. She will spend the entire night texting him simultaneously, making you nauseous. With any luck, she will leave by midnight, but not before flirting with every guy in the bar to prove she still got it. Yeah. Well, the very end, the fr- I do tend to flirt, but otherwise, me too. I'm a big yeah. flirt. Okay, maybe I, I, maybe you'll have nine out of ten. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna give you a pass on that. But one I do time. have a lot of friends that are like that. I yeah, I do too. I, I won't put them on blast. Anyway. Oh, 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 oh. oh snap! <laughs> okay. Putting names out there. Yeah, she did. She just whispered it, but like no one caught it. So it's yeah, right. Uh-huh. Let's listen to the tape back. <laughs> I, I, I love you, boo boo. <laughs> Um, okay. Number seven is, um, <laughs> this is so Kelly. <laughs> I mean, Toxie. Toxie. It's all right. It's it happens at least like once a mm-hmm. show. I know. You know. You'll get there. Okay. <clears throat> the shot, 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 shot drunk. <laughs> Toxie. I don't even need the description. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like the description. Go ahead. You will tell her you have to work tomorrow. You have brunch with your boyfriend, a family, whatever. 
You have a top secret with the president. You have a top secret meeting with the president. But you're still a pussy if you don't take a shot. That's so you! Yes. And I do it, like, if you won't drink Jaeger, you're a fucking pussy. <laughs> because as soon Jaeger. as you say, like, well, as soon know. as I say to somebody, here, I have some Jaeger, and they're like, ew, Jaeger, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Like, no, you've got to do it. Yeah, that's you. That's, that's that her. Is. Totally. Yeah. I, I mean, I her drunk that. ass is why she's on the show. <laughs> I can be on that show. Oh, fuck what number funny. was that? I'm that was fucking... number seven. You've given okay. Yourself. You've okay. got three so more to go. Seven. Okay, number eight. This is probably the one. Wait, hold on. Is this anyone else? No one? No, no. no one? No. You're the, you're the only one. You're the only pushy drunk here. Um, Number pushy eight is drunk. probably the most that I'm like, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the semi-sober drunk. For whatever reason, she's not as intoxicated as the rest of her friends. And even though she watches all her other friends take shots, <laughs> she does not seem to be as drunk. She's level-headed. Therefore, one of you suggests hopping into the back of a pickup truck of some random guy's house party. She is there to tempt you off. She is there to tempt. She is there to attempt to talk you out of it. See, I'm the one who will jump into that that's random Sarah. person's that's vehicle. Sarah. Yeah, I guess that would be. Because she so gets a little tipsy, you. but you never see her, like, pounding them. And you're the and voice of reason. Too, huh? Yeah, I would say that. All right, that's all of them. Yeah, that that, yeah that, that's me telling Toxie. No, we cannot have him on the show. I think you're a little too drunk right now to be making these decisions. <laughs> all right, number nine is the crybaby drunk, and I was this girl for probably about uh, the first month, maybe after my breakup. So, mm. but not drunk. so much anymore. Yeah. <sighs> The friend that is now upset with the because you wouldn't let her leave with the one guy at the bar who was wearing sweatpants and flip flops. <laughs> I know who this is, but she's not in this room right now. <sighs> she, this guy may have been her future husband, but she'll never know because you wouldn't let her leave with him. And now she's going to end up with a collection of cats, and it's all your fault. Yeah, that's Glyph. No, that's somebody, <laughs> no, that's we'll somebody else I know, list. but I won't mention names on the show. But so for the record, know. I would never even <laughs> I would think of the same thing. To talk to a man wearing sweatpants and flip-flops in no, a nightclub. No, me neither. Just saying. Me neither. I have to say, that's not really me. I had a guy show up in, in uh, so. basketball shorts and flip-flops to a date. Not even real flip-flops. Those, like, feeless slides. Oh. Did he have socks on? Because no, he didn't. He might have I had a guy show up to a date with mm-hmm. those sweatpants. Or not sweatpants. Like, those shorts that were, like, red with white lines on the side. Basketball shorts. Basketball yeah. shorts. Oh, but no, they were, like, more like 1970s me, I've done shorts. a lot of basketball. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was the guy I left. I left him at the cannery and got in my car and left. I have to go to the bathroom. Farted. I'll be right back. Exactly what I did. He was farting at the machine <gasps> and burping. It was so gross. He was dressed like that. I'm like, uh-uh. I gotta go to the bathroom, and I never went back. He was probably like a champ at eating pussy, though. <laughs> yeah, you point. might have missed out on the uh, you, you the cool buffet, the vagina buffet of okay, your life. You know All right, number one. ten, drum roll. Number ten is the girl on a mission. Her philosophy is, whatever it is, she's getting it tonight. I'm getting hammered tonight. I'm getting laid tonight. I'm going to eat the size of a burrito. Oh, sorry. I'm going to eat a burrito the size of my fucking head. So anyway, either way, this girl has her mind set on something, and it's going to happen. Yeah, that'd be you. And that's me. Yeah. That used to be me. I need that's to. Me. I need to find that. I'll grab one on that, too. Yeah. I make goals. I try to get them accomplished. <laughs> Some people try to cock block me, but hey, I'm the responsible. Well, I, you know, I don't even think the the, the, the winner, hands down, is Toxie. Of course. I don't know. It's close. It is not close. <laughs> who, who I've got this? four. You got seven. <laughs> so the woman who wrote this article is Tiffany Peon, and um, she has a uh, a book out on Kindle, and I'm gonna get it and read it. But I thought it was appropriate because the name of the book is Drinking My Way Through 14 Dating Websites. Oh, that's great. And I think I'm going to have to read that with what's yeah, coming are. in my future. So. I actually have a book somewhere. I'll have to dust it off for you. It's uh, The Idiot's Guide to Dating Online. <laughs> nice. I'll have to dust now, it wait, off for we, you. Were we going to collectively do uh, Glitz's yes, uh, profile? I, I was guess, just talking yeah. to her earlier that tonight, since our, you know, our guest was here earlier, um, that I feel that maybe we should all work together on setting up this profile with getting some input in chat. Have we decided what website we're going to fix? I'm going to start with ChristianMingle.com. <laughs> I think no, the farmer I one. I think we should start and with And then farmers okay only. Okay okay Cupid. We'll okay start Cupid. with OkCupid. Okay um, because OkCupid okay generally attracts people who are kind of done with all of the others. I was on OkCupid okay for a while, and I met a lot of really <laughs> quality guys on there. It was just that it didn't work out or, you know, we weren't going to 
go the long mm-hmm. distance. Even USA Rock Odd says farmers only. <laughs> farmers That's my only. favorite. Uh, some people except mentioned. Who, who said that? Except that Maddie. Glitz can't uh, shovel manure. USA uh, Rock Odd. Yeah, <laughs> couldn't you see Glitz? Smart ass he is. Dressed at her heels, shoveling manure. Yeah. Hey, Rock it's going to happen when I'm in Buffalo this summer. <laughs> That's all that's there up there. I have to from. tell you, my father has a farm. I technically, mm-hmm. although we didn't live on it, we had to go work there every day. And uh, so technically, I'm a I'm a farmer's daughter. Um, this right. is going to surprise a lot of people, but I grew up on a farm really? in Phoenix. Um, there you a, go. A, a in Phoenix, small, a very what, what, small. What kind farm of farm? A cactus explain. farm? Let me explain. <laughs> well, it's kind. Of, it was a very small um, three-acre farm, <laughs> actually. Um, I grew up in the, uh, my family's very big in the rodeo. My my uh, grandfather, who's passed now, um, my grandmother's uh, third husband, was ex-world rodeo champion. And oh, I grew wow, up cool. in the NFR circuit rodeo scene. I actually used to rope. Whoa, so some stuff that you guys would wow. not know about me. I'm still the black sheep of that family now. <laughs> The pun, black sheep. Anyway, Although um, I mean, I heard you like ropes, so you're not completely <laughs> out. Maybe that's why I like that. Right. All right. We are gonna come back while we're on our break here. We are gonna get hooked up on OK Cupid. Is that correct? And we're gonna yes, do some. Do uh, we're gonna fill out some uh, information for Glitz. Any of you got some suggestions of what we need to include in her profile? Send them on through. And if you're listening as a guest, sign up for a profile so you can contribute. Glitz is looking for a good man. We'll be right back.